Welcome to this Maths Made Easy video on mean and standard deviation. Let's start by recapping the mean, median, mode and range. Now remember the mean is the sum of the data points divided by the total number of data points. For the median, this is the middle value of the data points when they're ordered, or the midpoint between the two middle values if there's an even number of data points. The mode is the value that appears the most often, and finally, the range is the difference between the highest and lowest value. The interquartile range is the range after we discard the top and bottom quarters of the data. Now there's some notation that we need to be aware of here for the mean. So the mean is often written as x bar, so that's x with a little bar above it, x bar. And the notation we use here is sigma x, the sum of x values here, divided by n, okay? where x is each data point. The other way we can express this, again for the mean here, x bar is sigma fx over sigma f. Okay, where x represents a data value and f is the frequency of that data value. So that gives us everything we need there to recap the mean, median, mode and range. Moving on now to take a look at the variance and standard deviation. Now variance, like range, is a measure of the spread of the data. However, variance is a more intelligent measure than range. And the reason for that is because it takes all of the data into account. The formula for variance looks quite complicated. However, it's not too bad. The formula for the variance is given as sigma x minus x bar all squared. And this is divided by n. Okay. We can also express the variance as sigma x squared over n minus x bar squared. And again, another way we can see the variance given is sigma f x squared over sigma f minus x bar squared there. Okay. Now it's easiest to remember a simple rule. The variance is the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So the variance, we write that in full here. So this is the mean of the squares. So it's mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. Okay. So again, just a simple way to remember the variance is the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. The standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. So the standard deviation, again, if we write that in full here, is equal to the square root of the variance. Okay, so the square root of the variance gives us the standard deviation. So that's everything we need for the variance and standard deviation. And finally, moving on now to take a look at notation for mean and variance. So first, the mean can be written as e of x. So we use this notation here of e of x. And all this means here is the expectation or the expected value of x. It's important to know here that the mean of the squares is written as e of x squared. So in that case, if we want the variance using this notation here, then the variance can be expressed as follows. So this is equal to the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x all squared. Okay, so that gives us the formula there for the variance using this notation. The standard deviation is often written as the Greek letter sigma, which means the variance can be written as the square of the standard deviation. So in that case, we know the standard deviation here is written as the Greek letter sigma. So in that case, the variance here is sigma squared. Okay. And we can also use the following notation here, and this is the S subscript X Y notation. Okay. And in this case here, using this notation, we can write this as the sum 
of x minus x bar times y minus y bar. Okay, and this is simply equal to the sum of sigma x y minus sigma x times sigma y, all divided at n there. Okay, and using this notation, variance of x is equal to s x x. So if we write this out in full, the variance of x, the variance of x is equal to so the variance of x is equal to s x x so remember we're using this subscript notation here divided by n okay so that gives us everything we need there for the notation for mean and variance and that concludes this mass made easy video on mean and standard deviation